Xbox Games here. Check it out. Yeah, we're back with another little little Lego set review. If you guys remember, we grabbed uh, this little poly bag here from our local store. It literally, it was like three bucks. I think like three twenty-five. It is kit number three zero four six one, the Pod Racer. Well, it would have been more awesome if, yeah, it would have come with a little minifigure. But for three bucks, you can't go wrong. You can like, you know, I, I mean, you can almost mock this thing up uh, pretty cheaply. And I'm actually excited to uh kind of do a different mock with this because it has some very cool pieces that i that I, i've kind of wanted but uh didn't have available on my other sets so yeah let's get into this thing and kind of go over it again it's a whole whopping 58 pieces so it should i mean it took me, me like less than five minutes to put together some of you guys wanted to see the instruction you guys are like always oh, let me see it let me see i mean literally like 14 steps eight plus the six nothing too fancy on the top on the back it's another 14 steps so 28 steps total which again should put you sub five minutes to put that thing together anyways we picked it up at our walmart for around three bucks or so um again no minifigure the thing that's kind of cool about this though is some of these pieces right some of these pieces i think are pieces that yeah i i kind of want especially this if you guys can see that this translucent piece right here this piece is actually very similar to um this here on the iron man I like those because it kind of, you know, you can you can fly around with them. You have the translucent piece. So I kind of got one of those for almost, you know, for almost free. When that little piece right there alone, you can usually buy them for like 69 cents a piece. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to pick that up. That is going to be sweet. The upfront little rockets look definitely cool. Look at that. I think that looked awesome. Uh, I could definitely reuse these yellow pieces. What's really cool is these right here, kind of electricity or whatever they are going between here, the purple. I can use those for uh, the lightsabers, right? Those are those are perfect lightsaber lengths. You can stick them even on lengths like this, like the monkey guy. You can stick them on top of his uh, his little weapons right there. So I was like, ooh, I don't have that purple, or I might only have one. So that kind of rocks. Sure, there is no place on here for um, there is no place for a minifigure to go. I mean, unless he was like back here or something. I don't know. I mean, how does that? That kind of looks really weird, but. If they would have had a place for a minifigure to go, I think it would be a little bit better of a set. I still think it's definitely worth the value for three bucks. I really like, again, some of these poly bags because they're things that you could get, you know, while you're at the store, whether you're a, a, an adult fan of Lego, you're a kid, you know, you could say, hey, mom, dad, can we pick this up? And it's not something that's going to, again, break the bank for three, four dollars, you know, unlike some of the bigger sets. But overall, I think it's a nice little neat set. Some of the pieces inside it, I think, rock. The attention to detail with some of this rockets looks cool. I think they could have maybe put a little more detail in the front rockets or put some type of, I don't know, something in the back for, you know, it to be a little more just, I don't know, look look a little better with a little minifigure in there. Because I feel like a lot of you guys out there have minifigures where you want to put them in there. So I'm probably going to redo a mock of this thing and just kind of switch it up. But anyways, that is my review on this, guys. You know, again, not much to it. Let me know what you guys think or if you guys have picked this up. I think these are pretty, you know, pretty relevant, easy to find at the store. Anyways, thanks again, Fox fans. And definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already.